part two coming up. So now we're gonna move into, and I'm not gonna grab in any particular order, just some other ones I have. These I hold with you guys too. These are Marc Jacobs, and I picked these up from, I wanna say maybe Nordstrom's. Yeah, Nordstrom's. And if you go back to one of my earlier videos, you'll see them in there. And these are the pink bubblegum ones. These were also in a favorites. And I love, I can't wait for summer to come, or damn, even spring. And these are definitely gonna get pulled out again. I just think these are fun for that rock and roll kind of edge look. So these are Marc Jacobs, and they're Marc by Marc Jacobs. So that is another pair. And these are my Dior's. And I think you guys have seen these too. These are a pair that um, I was kind of torn between which one I was gonna wear um, with one of my outfit of the days. And I eventually chose these. And they look like this. And I, these are, oh my God, these are so, my husband and I fight over these because they're unisex. A lot of glasses tend to be unisex. And even if they aren't, my husband doesn't care. If he likes them, he will wear them. He's like, I'm real secure in my masculinity. But um, this pair right here is a pair that we fight over <laughs> from time to time. And they look like this. They're, they're, you know, like I said, they're that edge that I like when I'm kind of doing that rough look, you know. But these are really cool. Um, nice quality frames. Dior makes really good frames. They're very, very um, avant-garde to me. At least that's how I feel about them. They, they just kind of look, it's almost like you're looking at a piece of architecture, you know, the way they're made. Um, and they really, like I said, if you are a person that, like I wear a ton of black and white, a ton of t I wear the same basic stuff over and over again. And I just, I'm not going to keep buying the same black, well, I'm buying them now because my ass is bigger and I need a bigger size. But, you know, sunglasses are game changers to me. They really, really change the look of my outfit. Totally. Um, I can, two different frames will give the outfit a totally different look, even though I'm wearing the same thing. Okay, so I did these with you guys before too. These are the Porsche design. And these, again, were like a cult favorite because of the, um, well, Kris Jenner and the Kardashians were so big into it. And these are the ones that they give you the um, extra set of lenses, you know? So they come with two lenses and the lens that I have, I have the gold frame and I think they're, is this titanium? Yes, yeah, titanium. And they look like that. And you know, the lens, you lift that up and the lens pops out and these are the brown. They're like this exaggerated aviator lens. It's really cool. In the summertime, I drive a little convertible and in the wintertime, I drive a truck. So these were my like convertible glasses like um, never before. Like I totally, totally would pull the top down and you know, this, this, these would be it. Cause I just thought they were so chic, you know, just very, very like you, you didn't have a care in the world. So those were also a favorite and they were like a cult favorite of everybody. And I will provide a link for them cause I know someone else was interested in them and I did leave a link for them, but I will leave it in the description box. Okay. These are another pair that I had hauled with you guys. These are Jimmy Choo's and they look like that. These are the Andes by Jimmy Choo, and these are still current because I just, well, I got them maybe about three months ago, three, four months ago, and they look like that. And like I said, they have the crystals on them. These remind me of steampunk so much. And again, this will, you know, make, give me some sparkle by my face, and it'll really highlight, you know, cheekbones and everything like that. So these are a beautiful pair that I also love. And we're on 11 minutes, guys. I'm gonna keep going. Um, Let's just see what happens. So the next pair is actually a recent purchase because I have been loving everything Burberry. I am like Burberry obsessed. <laughs> and I think it's the stripes again. I seem to go from one stripe. I started with Kate Spade years ago and then I moved over to Henry Vendel and now I'm over at Burberry. And then the customer service experience because the customer service like I said is so wonderful that when I'm in the mall, I just pop in, you know, just because you know, they made me feel so good and I got my eye on a few pieces. So here they are in the box like this and I just wore them in the outfit um, of the day with you guys the other day. And these are the new ones that I said are gonna take the place of the coach because they're similar, but on the side they have the Burberry plaid and they're a little bit larger than what the coach ones were. And so they look like this and they're a little bit lighter. Um, and these are probably gonna be my like spring summer glasses um, that I'm probably gonna grab, but you know, we'll see. Every week I pretty much change my mind. Every day, you'd be surprised. I mean, there are some weeks that 
I will wear maybe the same sunglasses depending on what I leave in my car and how much prepared I am for work. But for the most part, I change them a lot because I don't change outfits <laughs> that much. So sunglasses are, are what, I, what happens for me, you know, what changes my look. The next pair from Gucci. And my husband has several Gucci glasses. He is a Gucci sunglass fanatic. Um, he has quite a few brands too, but Gucci in the beginning was his favorite, honey. I only have one pair. <laughs> um, this is the pair that I have. And these are the aviators. These are, um, they, these are still available, but these are the green tortoise aviators and they have the stripe and they have the green lens. And I think I did these in a video with you guys too. And again, these are unisex, him and I both wear them. Um, but these were actually bought for me, so I'm putting them in my collection. Um, they're not my favorite pair of glasses. They used to be, but for some reason, I don't reach for them that often. So we'll see how that goes with me, you know, seeing if my nieces or somebody, or one of my nieces or sister want them. Okay, so the next things are Celine. I actually have two pair of Celine, and they come, as you see, in the white envelope. And then they also give you, like, the little velvety suede little bag, Celine Paris. And these pair... I showed you guys um, in an outfit of the day too. These are the nude color frames with the gray lens in it. And these are gorgeous. I was on the hunt for a nude pair of sunglasses. Um, these are made in Italy. Her glasses are so quality made and I love the wide sides on them. So let me show you what they look like. And again, you guys have seen these before, but these are also a part of my collection. Her glasses are pricey, but I will say they wor they're worth it. And to me, they're timeless. They're not, they're not gonna go out of style. So I don't mind investing in something that I know I can have for years to come versus, you know, a trend that's kind of hit or miss. Um, and I know some sunglasses brands are investment pieces that you actually can resell them. So this is the next pair that I have, and I've showed you guys these before. <clears throat> these are the flat top one Celine's. And these are the ones that my husband calls me poison ivy when I have the green hair and I wear them. And these come in an array of colors. I mean, there is a ton of colors that these babies come in. I picked green. Um, they did come in black with the tortoise at the bottom. I've seen burgundy with the tortoise at the bottom and then navy blue. I was looking at the navy blue, but I don't think I'm going to pull the trigger on it. Um, I think I'm going to pass. Okay, my next ones are Versace. And you guys have seen these too. I think these were in a favorites video. Um, I think I was rocking them one week when I was doing like the leopard. I was doing, I, I, I am an, um, I grew up, I was born in the 70s, but I grew up in the 80s. And you know, that during that era, everybody had an emblem on everything. It was just like really tacky time, but I like that look. Um, it just reminds me of my childhood. So these are my Versace's. These are unisex too. My husband doesn't really grab from them because he thinks they're tacky, but I like them. So here they are. They have a piece of leather folded over it and they're still available. They also come in white and I was actually looking at the white ones because I don't know, I kind of like them. And you guys know we're doing the luxury boutique thing for the plus woman. And I was, you know, maybe gonna go into the boutique and see what kind of customer service, you know, I get and see if I actually purchase them. But those are my Versace's, okay? The next ones are my Pradas, and they look like this, and they come in the case like this. And this is another pair that my husband and I actually both reach for, but they're actually part of my collection because he has, a, I think, a brown pair or something like that. So they're just the black aviators. They're kind of like my look when I was doing um, motorcycle jackets and white t-shirts and Doc Martens kind of scene. And this is kind of the ones I reached for before I got the exaggerated lens um, before I got the Porsche design because I wanted the Porsche design in the black but I couldn't get it because it didn't have it so I had to settle for the gold and I kind of like the gold but these were my black matte frames in Aviator so these are nice and these are really quality made and I'm pretty sure these are still available so I will try to find all of these for you guys as best as I can the next pair you guys see me wear to death these are Acne Studios, and I am in love with these. I'm all, these are probably the ones that I have in my purse the most, and they give you this leather case that is so soft. And these are the ones that I just ordered in Tortoise. I was gonna order them in the nude, but I just thought, I don't know how many times I'm gonna reach for nude sunglasses, but Tortoise I will reach for a lot, and that's why I'm giving away the coach ones. But this is how they look. These are actually handmade in France also, and they're these big, huge, oversized, glamour goddess frames. 
and I tell you when I put these on I can hide a multitude of sins honey you can't see my eyes you can't see anything and they instantly make me look edgy but elegant and like I'll walk into designer sunglass stores and everybody's like what kind of glasses are those so these are some cool babies right here I love love these like I said these actually make you look soup any outfit you have on even if you have on sweats these make you look so glamorous and the packaging is so great acne studios has really good sunglasses and i will link those below okay so the next ones are my tom ford and i had a few pair of tom ford but mysteriously my sister ended up with a pair my niece ended up with a pair so they all kind of went away but the only pair i have left are they come in this little velvet case are these mirandas and these are in the ruthenium right there and let me show you what they look like and they look like that my husband was so crazy about this frame and we were away on vacation and um, we saw it in a Saks Fifth Avenue and he's like you know I, I want you to get these so this was kind of a purchase that he kind of was like he, he wanted me to be in these these I must say are probably not my favorite they used to be but I just I hardly ever reach for them anymore they used to be like the it thing and maybe it will come back around but for right now I just I haven't been I don't know I haven't been feeling them so we will see I do that though I fall in and out of love with things all the time okay you guys we only have two more left and they're both Mew Mew so they come in you know the big pink case and I think I hauled a pair of these with you guys um, in one of my first videos. I'm not sure if these are it or the other pair are it, but we will find out when we open it. And here they are. These are the blue ones. And they're this like violet blue kind of, um, like you can see through it lens kind of thing. So that's what those look like. And when you put them on, they're this big round frame. They remind me of hippie frames too, but I like them. Um, and they're rimless too really really kind of cool these are I, I wore these a lot in the summertime too so I love those and the very last pair I have are the ones that I hauled with you guys um, and they come in the pink case too and they look like this and they're rimless at the bottom and they're the big black frames and these are kind of like um they remind me of alexander wang for some reason um i kind of i when i first got them i was so in love with it because i was loving the minimal i was in love with the minimalist look and although i still like the minimalist look i um tend to go for a few more accessories <laughs> i mean i like my clothing pieces to be you know straight no frills or anything like that but i i there was a point where I was reaching for these a lot and not so much now, but who knows? Like I said, things recycle and they look like that. And these are made in Italy. So that is my full sunglass collection, maybe minus three. I think I'm missing the Chanel's, but they're in the car and I'm not going down there to get them because again, I'm in Michigan, it's cold, it's snowy. Um, so this is one of the videos that was requested. Um, thanks for the request you guys. I'm working on them. I'm gonna get them done as fast as I can um, Just for reference what's on my lips because um, I know I'm gonna get asked is I'm doing that lip liner again Amadel and then I used um, Kat Von D bow and arrow Right there. I used that and I put made it a little bit pinker by adding snob just in the middle and going like that and that is how I got it to be bow and arrow to be like a little bit more pinker. So that is what I have on. So it's bow and arrow snob and then lip liner. I don't be afraid to play with your lipsticks, lady. Manipulate any way you can to make the color just right for you. Um, when I'm at home and I have tons of time, I'll do that. It's just, you know, <laughs> sometimes when you're on the go, you don't want to take a million lipsticks with you. But I don't mind if I think I'm going to look good in the process. Um, that's everything I have for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching. And I should see you guys tomorrow. Um, we're going to do some favorites because it's about time. We're kind of behind. So again, I'll see you guys later.